Apologize for the constant rumble being heard. There's a train going by behind me. Great timing for a beer review. What? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another beer review. Thanks a bunch for joining me for the beer of the today. We've got the first new thing I've seen by this brewery in a while. This is a can of Everything's Peachy, the cream ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario, coming in at 5.3% ABV. Was it three? No, it was four, actually. I can read. Good for me. Um, like a cream ale, big fan of a peach. Old Tomorrow's beers, while not the most exciting, amazing things I've ever had, have not disappointed me so with that in mind got my old tomorrow shirt my old tomorrow glass both of which sent to me by old tomorrow thank you so much and let's crack it open and let's see what we've got that's looking relatively clear get a bit of head on there if we can that might have been a bit that might have been a bit much no that worked out pretty well okay i like it yeah that is crystal frickin' clear right there. A couple fingers of a uh, pretty rocky looking head. Looks all right. Chill haze on the glass, surprise, surprise. And that smells astonishing. This smells more like peach than most peach juices I've tried in my life. And like, it's got that kind, of, I've said it before, that smell that makes me think of one of those Campino creamy kind of hard candies you can get. I'm not sure if they come in peach flavor, but they should. Because this smells amazing. Let's give her a shot. That's not terrible at all. Apologize for the constant rumble being heard. There's a train going by behind me. Great timing for a beer review. Um, that's a lot of bass. <laughs> Jesus. This is pretty good. It's got a, a bit of a kind of, I want to say chemically kind of artificial quality to the uh, overall peach flavor I'm getting, but I've had worse. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and, you know, why not? Some cheers. To the fine folks at Old Tomorrow. The peach flavor that's there is really nice. There's kind of something else going on though. I'm not really sure what it is. But maybe the can will tell us things. Fresh peach aromas give way to a citrusy peach tartness followed by a smooth silky finish that begs for more. The finish is where the kind of artificial stuff is coming for me, so I'm not really getting the smooth silkiness with the finish, personally. Butter, butter. Yes. This beer obviously started with a butter base. Water, malted barley, hops, yeast, lactose, natural peach, and whipped cream flavor. So when you say natural peach and whipped cream flavor, it makes me think it's fake whipped cream and peach flavor like concentrates or some of that other weird crap that's not really peach or whipped cream and then we've got our freshest before date that says 23rd of july of this year it's currently the 2nd of may so two months away i'm assuming this is at least about four months old at this point then probably can't recall the price it's purchased at the uh independent grocer here in town but not hard to find just go like that those two words if it exists will help it will do it wow apparently it's not available at the lcbo but is available at independent grocer loblaws chains kind of things sure and uh, oldtomorrow.com will bring you to oldtomorrow.com i don't know if i've had that beer for some reason i feel like i haven't no no I'll check into that at some point. 
in time. It's pretty good. Not my favorite beer by a long shot, but it's also a long ways from being the worst thing I've ever had. As far as peach beers go, can't really recall any other ones I've had, so I'm going to say this is potentially the best one I've had. Oh, hello, kitty. Look at this. This thing is still a kitten. Look at the size of my freaking kitten. He is a monster. Monster kitty. <laughs> Uh, but he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking a break. It's not bad. That's about all I can really say. Like, it's... like, like it, As far as a peach beer goes, it's pretty damn good. But as far as just a... a compared to other fruited beers I've had, I guess I'd say. It's kind of middle of the road. Not terrible. Actually, as it warms up a bit and I get more into it, it balances out a bit nicer and I don't get as much of that kind of artificial chemical flavor on the back of my throat. So that's also nice. Rating-wise, find the right tab. There we go. We have got a 2.83 out of 5 on untap with 1,158 ratings. That is... Like, the average, I would say... I think I said this a couple videos before... You'd think the middle of the road would be 2.5. But from what I've seen, middle of the road is generally in the 3.8-ish range. So this is kind of not super enjoyed. That's some cats having a great old time. Treat number last. Old tomorrow. Everything's peachy. Cream ale. Six. I give it a 6.5, but I don't like the date at all. You don't put a best before date on beer. You put a canned on date on a beer, and you let the consumer decide what they think that range should be, in my personal opinion. And with that, if you've had the beer, let me know down below what you thought, because the video is done. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, smash the bell notification around in its face. You're made aware when I go live playing video games and new videos released, blah, blah, blah. Back with something like this pretty freaking soon. Stay safe. Peace out. In a bit of a beer chat right now. And uh, I want to rejoin the beer chat right now. So uh, 